Well, so what we heard from the panelists tonight is that, yes, innovation and business travel is very difficult because of all the legacy systems and platforms, but there's hope for us yet. I think there's lots of companies and people really trying hard to innovate in the industry, especially for business travel. So there are some bright spots, and I think we're seeing a little bit of that today, but I think there's more to come. And a, and a theme that definitely came through was that innovation, in fact, uh, is actually, while it's in the industry, it, the push is really coming from outside. So there are disruptive uh, companies out there, like Uber was quoted this evening, who are forcing you know, these TMCs to actually kind of change the way they approach innovation. Yes, I, I think that that's right, that you know, business travel, if it had its choice, would stay very insulated. But now that consumers have more choice, they have availability to tools and functionality and features, they don't want to settle for anything less. And so what happens is a business traveler, someone who's out there, they bring that into their company and then the company is forced to innovate for them. So I think one of the panelists used the word rogue. The last thing we want is one of our business travelers or clients to go rogue on us. Uh, they want to keep them, as you say, in, in that confined space. A major challenge for travel managers and TMCs is making sure that their travelers stay in compliance. And so the rogue travelers are very problematic because it causes issues with duty of care and you know expense management. And so that's a very hot topic for business travel. And I think there are companies out there who are addressing it. And as innovation starts to increase, we'll see that more travelers will become part of that compliance piece. So you obviously with Focus, right, you're very much seeing, you know, a lot of innovation. You have your innovation summit, you see all these startups pitching. But I got a sense that, that that's something that is only very new to this sector and that they're really only to start to see and develop products for the, the on travel experience that are focused on the actual traveler themselves as opposed to the CFO who signs off of the contract. Yes and no. I think there's always been innovation, but I think the pace of innovation is increasing. And that means that business travel, the companies who are within that industry, have to now work to keep up. So yes, I think we are seeing more innovation in that area. And of course, we'll see more as we go. So tell me, what, what, what question or what one question stood out for you this evening in terms of the questions that came from the audience? Because of course, the discussion was driven by the audience. Did anything stand out for you in terms of what, what poignant question was asked? Well, it wasn't so much a question as a point that was made by the panel. So something interesting, I, I think, is that the GDS, the global distribution systems, really have a stranglehold on business travel just because of their size and because of the legacy platforms that they've built. And we are still providing services based off technology that was built in the 1960s. What's happening now is companies are finding ways to work around that, to innovate in ways and build brand new platforms that give more flexibility and more options for the end traveler and I think that's where it's really interesting because if you're not stuck using old technology you can really actually innovate. So this was your first experience even though it's the fifth time that, that data have done this and I, I mean you're very much used to you know the big conference environments but this was a very intimate and small environment did you enjoy it? This was a great event I think data art puts on a, a fabulous evening the question time format is great because it really gets the audience involved. So everybody's asking questions, it's very interactive, the panel, panel is lively and entertaining. And so yeah, I had a really great time. Thanks for your time, Tony. Thank you.